The Honeywell SmartView Synthetic Vision System, or SVS, is a display option that provides a three-dimensional view of the surrounding terrain coupled with advanced flight path symbology. SmartView starts with a traditional primary flight display function and builds upon it by using Honeywell's proven EGPWS terrain database to create a synthetic terrain background. It then adds advanced HUD symbology to the display. SmartView is more than just a synthetic vision display. It adds synthetic vision elements to the primary flight display without detracting from the normal PFD functions. SmartView also adds HUD symbology, providing accurate guidance and energy management information, thus greatly improving a pilot's situational awareness while reducing pilot workload. When installed, SVS is automatically activated at startup and can be turned on or off via the overlay menu on the primary flight display. To adjust the brightness of the terrain, click on SVS Bright on the overlay menu and turn the data set knob. In addition to providing standard flight and navigation data, SVS provides a three-dimensional view of surrounding terrain, obstacles, and runways. This data is oriented in real time to the aircraft's attitude, altitude, and track. The area represented on the SVS display is depicted on the iNav map display. The terrain image is displayed with a set of rings labeled with their distance from the aircraft. The range rings follow the contour of the terrain and appear at 3, 5, 10, and 20 nautical miles from the aircraft. The range rings help pilots quickly determine approximate distances to objects in relation to the aircraft. Grid lines are displayed over the terrain and depict an approximate north-south and east-west grid. These grid lines help provide a sense of motion and a sense of height above the ground. They also aid in depth perception and terrain closure rate. Obstacles are displayed as solid rectangles. The obstacle symbols represent the true height, but not necessarily the true width of the obstacle. All obstacles are shown as 80 feet wide. The obstacle database only includes reported obstacles taller than 200 feet and has a worldwide coverage area. Obstacles that have not been reported to the governing authorities are not in the database and will not be shown. The zero pitch reference line shown in the conventional blue over brown display is also shown when SPS is selected on. The zero pitch reference line can be thought of as a line tangential to the Earth's surface at the aircraft's current location. The line is transposed at the current altitude and represents the true horizon. Anything above this line is above the current aircraft altitude and anything below the line is below the aircraft altitude. In unusual attitudes, there may not be enough sky or terrain shown to provide an acceptable representation when the zero pitch reference line is parked at the top or bottom of the display. In this case, a partial blue sky or brown ground is displayed above or below the zero pitch reference line. The sky or terrain color is transparent so the pilot can still see the terrain behind the sky or terrain color for terrain awareness. The SmartView Synthetic Vision System depicts terrain in relation to the aircraft's track. The track reference symbol indicates the current aircraft track. The heading reference symbol indicates where the nose of the aircraft is pointing. The difference between the two is the drift angle of the aircraft. If the drift angle is greater than 9 degrees, the heading reference symbol becomes ghosted and will park on the appropriate side of the display indicating that the heading reference symbol no longer represents the correct heading or drift angle. As the aircraft descends below 800 feet AGL, the size of the track and heading reference symbols gradually become larger. This continues until they reach their maximum size, which occurs when the aircraft reaches 600 feet AGL. During an approach, this helps the pilot to quickly visualize the aircraft drift angle. It also helps the pilot estimate where on the windscreen to look for the runway during low visibility situations. 
SmartView's track-centered synthetic vision display keeps the flight path symbol in the center of the display. It also keeps the synthetic vision image centered along the aircraft's track and allows the heading symbol to move left or right as wind conditions change. The FMS arrival runway is shown with a lead-in line that extends out 10 nautical miles. This provides a visual alignment with the runway center line. Runways are shown with runway numbers and centerline markings. The surfaces are also displayed with added texture so that motion is more apparent. The runway details are displayed when the aircraft is within 1 mile, 500 feet, and 30 degrees of the runway. Three flight director modes are selectable on the Flight Control Systems tab. These include the two pitch-based flight director modes, single cue and cross pointer plus the path-based mode, flight path. In pitch-based modes, the primary symbol for control of the aircraft is the flying wedge or gull wing symbol. The flying wedge and gull wing symbols represent the aircraft pitch and roll angle with respect to the ground. The single cue director is coupled with the flying wedge and the cross pointer is coupled with the gull wing. In the flight path mode, the primary symbol for control of the aircraft is the flight path symbol. The pitch ladder, in combination with the flight path symbol, represents the flight path angle of the aircraft. The three degree reference line is larger than the one, two, and four degree lines. The flight path symbol represents the aircraft's current flight path angle and ground track, but does not predict the future flight path. It is affected by changes in aircraft attitude power settings, and ground speed. If an object is behind the flight path symbol, that is where the aircraft will eventually be. If an object is below the flight path symbol, the aircraft will pass above it. The path-based flight director shows guidance commands in relation to the flight path symbol. The flight path symbol and corresponding flight path director can be selected on the Flight Control System tab. The flight path symbol can be turned on or off when single cue or cross pointer is selected and is automatically selected if the flight path director is selected. The flight path symbol can be used along with the gull wing and flying wedge aircraft reference symbols as long as SmartView is installed. The FPS button and associated on or off options will not be displayed if SVS is not installed. When the pitch-based modes of single cue or cross pointer are selected and the flight path symbol is turned on, the flight path symbol is de-emphasized since it is not the primary navigation symbol. When flight path is the chosen flight director mode, the aircraft reference symbol is still displayed to indicate pitch and roll angles, but is de-emphasized. If the flight path angle is larger than the allowable limit and does not allow the background terrain to be shown, the flight path symbol will be highlighted in yellow and the background terrain will be removed as the pitch scale starts to compress. This compression allows the flight path symbol to be shown conformal to the vertical scale. The flight path symbol in combination with the acceleration chevron and dynamic speed bug provide energy management information to the pilot. The acceleration chevron allows the pilot to make power adjustments to control the airspeed for a given flight path angle. In this example, the aircraft is climbing and accelerating because the flight path symbol is above the zero pitch reference line and the acceleration chevron is above the flight path symbol. In this example, the aircraft is in a level descent at a constant airspeed because the chevron lines up with the flight path symbol. In this example, the aircraft is descending and decelerating because the flight path symbol is below the zero pitch reference line and the acceleration chevron is below the flight path symbol. The dynamic speed bug replaces the fast slow indicator and is based on angle of attack. It is calculated as 1.3 times V stall. The dynamic speed bug can be used by the pilot to provide a safe approach speed in all configurations without the need to calculate the correct speed according to the aircraft's weight. 
it is filtered to provide a stable and usable speed target for the pilot during the approach. The SmartView Synthetic Vision System features major technological advances that provide valuable tools for greater situational awareness and an overall safer flying experience.